How you doing? My name's Art Bloomer. This year at FDIC International 2020, I will be teaching a class entitled Rapid Intervention, Don't Just Stand There. We've all been taught how to do certain procedures that have come about from firefighters being trapped and calling the May Day in uh, fire situations across the country. We've all been taught how to get firefighters out windows, to get them up into the window and out the window, lowering them down with ropes and such like that. These are all good things we need to know. I would like to take that a step further and not just be ready to react when these things happen, but be proactive and be in the right place at the right time with the right information and having the structure ready for us to make entry if we need to. So being proactive, part of the class will be involved with size up of the building itself. Things we're gonna do normally as a firefighter, but from a rapid intervention standpoint, we also have to look at the building and determine what is going to happen with that building while it's on fire. Where has the fire been, where it's at right now, and where it's going? We also need to take a size up of the crews that are attacking the fire and determine what's going on. Are they making headway? Are they having problems? And they are a certain section of the building. We need to be in a position to react to that immediately as, uh, as soon as possible to make the outcome work out to the advantage of the firefighters. Other things we're going to talk about is being aggressive at the uh, position of rapid intervention. We need to soften up the structures, things we normally do now, but we need to look at it from a, uh, a little bit different standpoint. Does the structure have a lot of fences? Are there walls? We're going to have to throw ladders to get over fences and walls, or can we take down these fences and walls to make access to the entire building available to us? We need 30, 360 degree access to the entire structure. We also have to look at what trees and shrubs might be in the way, blocking windows, so we can find a quick way to get to the firefighter if somebody shows at the window. We also have to look at debris around certain commercial structures and also around homes. It's there and it gets in our way. We have to be able to get, uh, ready to take care of that, along with all the other things involved with softening up structures, such as window bars and other obstructions that are keeping us from getting inside as quickly as possible. Another thing we look at is aggressive laddering, how we should ladder the outside of the building, where the ladders should be placed, how they should be placed, and what should we have in place uh, with tools such uh, as uh, other hand tools in that area to get inside the structure as quickly as possible. We'll also look at opening up the building in a couple different places, making a, uh, a window into a door to get a firefighter out if we have to. Another thing we need to be is in place where the action is. We need to be following the fire and be where the fire is to be able to react as quickly as possible. If the firefighters are in the back of the structure, if we're standing out in front, Again, stand out front, not doing anything except waiting to react. We need to be where the firefighters are working. I'll show you how you can look at the building from that with the size up and determine how to have crew members in place to do that. Uh, it's not just standing out in front. It, it's being ready to work when the firefighters are in trouble. We're also going to look at different training opportunities we can get involved with, uh, some things you might be doing already now. If not, we'll throw you some other drills. You can enhance that, and we'll look at uh, training with other units around you as to being ready to work with their crews, you're familiar with their tactics, and they can be familiar with yours from a rapid intervention standpoint. Another thing we're going to look at is sometimes overlooked at a lot of uh, rapid intervention training situations, even up to the technician level, is dealing with a heavily entrapped firefighter. It's a class within itself, but I'm going to look at some of the uh, situations we need to have in place and certain type of uh, drills that we can put in place to have us ready to be able to take care of a situation if it arises with a firefighter who's heavily entrapped underneath structural members. I hope to see you all at FDIC this year. My class will be on Wednesday at 1.30. Classroom's not been announced yet, but I'm sure you'll be able to find that in the book. But I hope to see you out there. I'd like to throw some other interesting information about rapid intervention, uh, put it in your toolbox, and have it available to you at the scene. Be safe, and I'll see you in Indy in April.